Continuing with our effort to create integrated videos in medicine, today we will do a radiopath series on a renal re lesion. The lesion that we will discuss today is a lesion called as oncocytoma. It has a very typical finding in radiology and even more typical finding in pathology. I have with me today Diksha and Diksha and me today will discuss the radiological and pathological correlation of this lesion. Let us see the first image for us. Now, first you have to identify that we are looking at a non-contrast CT of the abdomen. So, this is the CT of the abdomen. You know this is a CT scan. You can see the vertebra. You can see the swas muscle. You can see the left kidney. Where is the right kidney? So, this is the right kidney. So, right kidney has been displaced by a well-defined, almost iso-intense mass. And the key thing to see is that you cannot see the difference. There is no plane between the lesion and the kidney. So it is probably a renal origin mass, which is relatively well defined, almost homogeneous, but the central part looks slightly reduced attenuation. So maybe we are looking at a central scar. So that will be more confirmed when you look at a contrast enhanced image. So this is a contrast enhanced image of the same patient. Now you can see when we give the intravenous dye, you can see the aorta. You can see how it is enhanced. So we're looking at the arterial phase. You can see the kidney enhancing. You can see the tumor is picking up homogeneously enhancing, but you can see the central part is non-enhancing. So the patient has a central non-enhancing scar in a stellate pattern, a large lesion. So what do you think? Renal origin lesion enhancing with a central scar. The differential diagnosis would include a oncocytoma. But the problem that we face as a radiologist is that we cannot say for sure that this is oncocytoma. Why? Because uh, the scar is the characteristic feature of oncocytoma, but the scar is present only in one third of the patients with oncocytoma. And the problem even compounds that even RCC can have a scar. So we cannot say clearly on a radiological image. I am sure the pathological findings will help us further in this case. But as a radiologist, you should always know if you're looking at an oncocytoma, look for multicentric lesions and also look for concurrent RCC, which is po possible in such a patient. Now I will invite the pathology colleague to talk about the pathological findings in this patient. Diksha. Now the gross picture of oncocytoma is very typical. We see a well circumscribed but a non encapsulated lesion which is mahogany brown in color. This color is my best appreciated uh, and it will tell you that it's oncocytoma when you see this color with a central scar, as Sir said in 30% of the cases. Yeah, I think the scar is very beautifully correlated with the radiological image. It's almost same. I, I'm so amazed at the pathological finding. Now, when we look at microscopy, we'll see nests of cells and these cells have bright pink cytoplasm and the nuclei if you can appreciate are predominantly uniform with very fine chromatin round nucleus not much atypia now on microscopy the one thing we as pathologists face a difficulty is to differentiate it from chromophobe RCC so here I have put two pictures on the left we see a lesion with cells that are mostly uniform round nuclei fine chromatin and on the right we see a nuclei which are different sized with a perinuclear halo. Now this is a characteristic photo of chromophobe RCC. We can also employ the use of two markers, CK7 which will be positive in chromophobe RCC and Hales colloidal ion which will be diffusely and strongly positive in chromophobe RCC. So as a pathologist our uh, problem is solved on microscopy, IHC and special stains. Now, uh, to conclude the case discussion today, as, a, as far as the radiological findings of oncocytoma are concerned, the central stellate scar is the most important thing to see. So uh, that is the important thing, but you should always remember that we cannot say for sure RCC would always remain a differential as far as the imaging goes. And I, I'll ask Diksha to conclude as far as the pathological findings go. So in pathology, we need to remember three points. First would be the mahogany brown color, which is very characteristic. The gross photo helps us diagnose the tumor. Second would be to differentiate it from chromophobe RCC. And the two points, CK7 and Hales colloidal ion. And to conclude today's session, I would invite you again to follow us on Damn Silly channel on YouTube for more such educational videos. Thank you.